everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to do this whole makeup look using unboxed first impressions new makeup that has just been released so if you guys are interested on how i got this look or if you have your eye on some new makeup but you're not sure if you want to purchase it keep on watching and make sure to hit the subscribe and notification bell and let's get into it I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start on my skin first. Revlon sent over their new collection and it is the Photo Ready Candid and concealer is supposed to be antioxidant concealer. And then the Photo Ready Candid foundation is supposed to be natural finish, anti-pollution, and a matte wear. And then we have the Candid Photo Ready Anti-Pollution Setting Powder, which is kind of cool because I've never really heard of a lot of makeup using like anti-pollution and stuff. So that's pretty sweet because let's be honest, just by being out and about, you get like free radicals on your skin, which is just like little chemicals we can't even see, blah, blah, blah. But they basically make you wrinkle and get aged. That's a pretty cool concept, I'm into it. I'm just going to take the Rose Glow primer just because why not it's kind of new i mean it came out like a month ago but um i like it and since we're on the revlon thing on the skin why not so i'm just gonna put this on how i always put it on i use my sigma kabuki brush it's my favorite wait i haven't you can tell i haven't used it i gotta pump it out for a minute hold on boop, boop, boop. get on me there it is oh just putting it on my skin it's like the perfect color it's like they knew is really honestly this is the perfect color going on real smooth we have about medium coverage right now i didn't even use a lot of pumps and i feel like it's covering my face oh i like this okay so here's what i really really like about it okay like i said it's medium coverage you could probably let it dry and put more on if you want full coverage it is matte but it like leaves your skin still looking nice without being cakey um i feel like i still have a little bit of like a glowy effect with it but you can see i can always tell how this is weird but i can always tell how much coverage a foundation is because i have like this sunspot hyperpigmentation thing here and depending on how it covers that is how i know if i like it i really 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 like this a lot okay so then i'm going to take a little bit of their concealer this is in 220 and the foundation is in 240. oh cool i thought it was going to be a squeeze out but it has like a little applicator which i love Ooh, and it's like wide holy moly see it's like a wide do foot one but it's like wider than usual i'm gonna put a little underneath my eyes it feels like lotion going on it doesn't feel like thick and heavy at all it's really good and it feels like um feels hydrating which is great because i have drier skin so I'm not mad about it. But what's nice about this, I feel like this concealer that I'm using right now, even though it feels hydrating, it doesn't feel greasy or oily. So all my oily girls out there, I feel like you would like this. I feel like this is a really good concealer for either dry skin or oily skin. And that is kind of weird to come across. Usually that doesn't happen. Got really good coverage. Ooh, it makes my under eyes really, really bright. And it definitely hid my redness in my bag, so it's a win. I can never get the sticker off. Oh, I'm not doing it right. It's not a sticker. <laughs> you take it off. I'm stupid. Help, I'm dumb. But first, I'm just going to set my under eye with it. Ooh. Okay, so first impression, this definitely reminds me of Dermablend. This definitely reminds me of the Dermablend translucent setting powder. It's like nice coverage and it doesn't dry. It doesn't feel drying at all. Like it feels really good. And I notice I'm not getting heavy creasing or anything like that underneath my eyes, which I'm prone to. A lot of um, setting powders dry me out even more than I already am. So literally I only use like the Dermal Blend Pro and maybe like two other ones. And this is going to go on my list of powders I think that I can use. It's leaving my skin looking glowy and not too uh, cakey. I'm feeling this collection. This is definitely a good day today. Wear. Benefit sent over all like their bronzers and highlights and 85 different um, brow things and stuff like that. So I'm just going to take Hula, which is nothing new, and I'm just going to warm my face up really quick. Face back to life, give it some dimension. I'm probably just going to fast forward through this part because... 
uh, Hula Ain't Nothing New. And I'm so excited about this. Buxom sent over their whole new Wanderlust collection. And look, it's like shaped like a little airplane. And then you open it up, boom. And then inside is all of their new blushes and their new lipsticks, if you guys can see. I did already play around with these because I have a few extras and you can use them as like eyeshadows, blushes. I put a little bit on my lips. So this is like perfect if you're like going on vacation soon and you don't wanna bring a whole lot of makeup. You don't wanna spend a whole lot of time obviously in your hotel room putting on makeup. I would definitely recommend these blushes because they definitely make your skin look very glowy, sun-kissed. It's like a little bit of a highlight, little bit of blush and you know I love that blush. So. I really love the seashells and then I really, really love Mykonos. And they are primer infused, so when you put them on the skin, it feels really, really nice. It's not cakey and heavy, which I'm into. So I'm just gonna put it on my cheeks. It's so pretty, I love it. it. Makes me so happy. Just like, boom. It's like, it's like a f nice flushed color. It makes your skin just look happy. Then Lancome recently came out with like a similar type of vibe. But these ones are monochromatic, so they're very like shimmery. I just want to do a really glowy, fun, flirty, but nothing too over the top that basically everyone can do. And I picked this color. It's called La Chromatic Eclat. Eclat? I don't know. But it's super pretty. And I'm just going to put it here. It's so pretty because it just brightens up the eye. And again, I'm just using my finger. And I'm going to kind of bring it up into that eye socket. Just so it doesn't look too perfect. Just like you're in the sun and you're getting like your glow on. Then what I like to do when I want to do like a really just um, glowy type of feel, I take either like a blush or something that makes your cheeks look flushed and I kind of just dust that into my upper upper crease because that way it'll just look like the sun kind of hit you as well. So I'm just layering on the Wanderlust seashells just for more of that rosy effect. This is just like a deep rosier color. So I think like the goldish tan shimmer and then the rosy color just looks so pretty together. It just looks like you've been outside running around on a beach all day. Even though I'm not bikini ready. Are you guys bikini ready? I'm, I'm one piece ready. Then I'm gonna take the new Benefit Roller Lash. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is the blackest liner I've ever ever seen in my life and the tip the tip is so pointed so pointed it makes it so easy to get into that inner eye and when you you barely have to touch your lid and it literally just boom shoots product out i seriously love that liner i love it it's my new favorite and then i'm just going to take the the covergirl active lash blast and I really like this. I like that when I take it off, it doesn't leave my face stained with mascara forever. Then for my lips, Laura Mercier sent over their lipstick and it's a lip liner and it comes with a little lipstick and it is in red and the color is Dominate. Okay, so the lip liner is going on a little bit rough. You guys can see, but you can see like my drier lips. I normally don't have that problem with lip liner, so hopefully the lipstick's a little bit better. Oh. <laughs> I already want this off my lips. Putting it on, I'm like, I feel like I have to push super, super hard for the product to go on my lip. For me, a good lip liner is when you barely have to touch your lips and the product goes right on. The color is beautiful. Like, the color is there. It's happening, but the feel of it is not my friend. And I don't like how I lined them because it was so hard to keep it accurate on your lip. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna put the lipstick over top. And the lipstick is beautiful. The color is beautiful, but up close, you can see all the dryness. And it was so hard to line. So that's gonna make me a little bit crazy. So I'm just gonna take my go-to CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I love, love, love these liners. That looks much better, but still not digging the feel of it. I'm just gonna take a little bit of gloss and this is Go Goa Gimlet. 
I don't know what that means. I'm not fancy. I don't know. But it's the Buxom Wanderlust collection. Lips can breathe now. I feel like they just got a glass of water. Then next up, Pixie sent over this really, really cool bag. And you can hang it up if you go away, like in a hotel. It has like a little hanger. You can put your makeup in it. And then all of your skincare essentials. And it's all of their new rose um, skincare collection, which I'm in love with because they just smell incredible. I am going to use from this bag, I'm going to use the Makeup Fixing Mist with Rose Water and Green Tea. And then I'm also going to spray on a little Rose Glow Mist with Seven Flower Oils. So first I'm going to spray this one. Ooh. Ooh. That smells incredible. And then the Rose Glow Mist. Oh, how do I pick a favorite? They both smell really good. Oh, I like how on the skin it leaves your skin looking like glowy and dewy, which I love. I really like how the foundation sat and then with everything put together, it just looks really, really pretty and natural, which I love, love, love. And I love like a flip and I love a fresh glow. Oof. And here we also have the rose tonic. Then they also have the Rose Cream Cleanser, which I love cream cleansers because if you have dry skin, again, it doesn't, you know, rip off the little bit of natural oil you have on your skin. So it doesn't, you know, leave me itchy or rashy or dry patchy. And then you have the cream and then Rose Oil Blend, a Rose Flash Balm. I'm excited to try that. And then the rose grapeseed oil. So I'll be definitely trying these out too on Instagram if you want to follow along on my stories and see more about these guys. Oh, I see. So it comes out this side is like this side's a little liquidy. And then I guess I and then you blend it with the other side. Ooh. Yep, I like this. I like that a lot. No, no, I probably wouldn't use this side. I would just use my finger. Yep, I would just use my finger. And I like that you can keep adding a little bit without it looking really texturized. If you want more intensity. Really, really pretty. I really like that. So I might just throw on a little lashes and then call it a day. Well, this is my final look. Let me know what you guys think about this style video and I will see you soon.